Welcome back to another off-season rebuild here on NBA 2K17. Today's video, we're going to be redoing the Boston Celtics off-season. Obviously, as most of you probably know, they were in the final, or they were one of the final three teams in possibly landing Kevin Durant. It was them, the Thunder, or the Warriors. Obviously, he ended up going to the Warriors. Nobody likes the move except for Warriors fans, of course. But um, I'm going to try to probably get Kevin Durant. I don't know if I'm going to sign Al Horford like they did in real life because, honestly, I really don't. I didn't love that signing at the time. I still don't now. It was clearly it was bait for Kevin Durant at the time. It blew up in their face. It's never going to be a good signing three years down the line when he's like 35. But uh, me, no more ranting about the Celtics. Uh, let's get into this offseason. So, no league meetings accepted. We sh have to go through the draft lottery again. If you don't know, that it has to be redone as soon as you redo an offseason. So, we could end up with the third pick. We could end up with the first. We could end up with like the sixth. You never know. Uh, we end up with the third still, just like they did in real life. So what a, if I can move up from for all these picks, we can get two, which I think I'm going to do. So yeah, let's just take the second overall pick in the 2018 unprotected first. We also give up RJ Hunter, so clearing up a roster spot. So uh, let's go over the roster real quick. Uh, I'll let you know what I think I'm going to be doing with it. Isaiah Thomas on a nice deal right now. Unfortunately, in offseason redos, uh, they have the roster you started with at the beginning of 2K17. So up, uh, the overalls are not updated. He's still only an 85 instead of a 92 like he is currently. So... If he doesn't progress that well after the first season, I may look to trade him. Everybody else are nice pieces, but I may look to move him. Jay Crowder might come off the bench. Still, probably the nicest contract in the NBA. Jared Sollinger, oh my God, he's so fat. I just can't deal with it. I, maybe I'll keep him. Maybe. Maybe he'll get lucky. So we have the second overall pick, so I'll probably take Brandon Ingram, and I'll see you guys at rookie signings. So here rookie signs with the second overall pick. We did take Brandon Ingram out of Duke. Obviously, he went second overall to the Lakers in real life. The Celtics did get Jalen Brown third overall in real life. Um, personally, I think Jalen Brown right now is playing better than Brandon Ingram, especially since after the All-Star break. But Brandon Ingram is obviously going to be a higher overall because 2K has him as a higher overall in the game. Uh, we took A.J. Hammonds with the second pick in the first round. I think I'll sign him. I don't think I'm going to sign Damian Jones, Papianis, or Marshall Plumley. So let's bring in those two guys as roster spots. Team player options, Olenek. I'll bring you back for 3 mil. Actually, no, because I can get you for cheaper probably on the restricted. Not for $12 million. You're not coming back in me. Not for 5 for Rebco and... I guess James Young can actually, no, he can go take a hike. I'd rather keep the roster spot. So these are the free agents. My number one target is Kevin Durant. Uh, Sullinger and Zeller can have the qualifying if they want. Okay, Evan Turner wants like seven mil a year. I think I'll give it to him uh, unless he gets paid more somewhere else just because he got paid like $17 million in real life. And okay, I probably, did I offer Sullinger the qualifying? I don't think I did. Uh, Olenek wants like the same amount I would have accept this team option on so i really don't care but i think Sillinger is a qualifying anyways so this is the free agency class and i'll see you guys in my first signings and after day one of free agency we were able to land lebron james and demar Derozan. so what i'm going to do here because i believe we have like 55 million uh, salary cap room i'm going to bring in lebron i can bring in them both so that means i can probably bring in durant as well so i'm going to bring in lebron right here and then i'm going to wait on durant because i have faith oh no no way we're not going to lose out on him please tell me no oh Rosen better still be interested in coming here because I, I, if I lose out on him after that, I'm going to be very upset. Okay, we're still his number one. We don't get Kevin Rant. Welcome to the team, DeMar DeRozan. KD goes to the Hawks. I'll get over it. I'll bring in DeRozan as well. So, Olenek, please come back. Zeller, you can come back. Jerebko, come back. And Sellager, if you really want to come back for $8 million. I'll give it to you, but then I'm probably going to trade you. Okay, so we don't have bird rights on Evan Turner, so he's not coming back. Sellager can come back. Olenek, Zeller, and Jerebko, welcome back to the team. So... I don't think we can afford uh, many other players. Yeah, so uh, I'll see you guys at the start of season number one with some trades. So I'm going to try to get this trade worked out with the Denver Nuggets, sending them Jared Sollinger for Nicole Jokic. The good thing about the Celtics, uh, they have a lot of picks to work with, so if I can get Nicole Jokic somehow from the Nuggets, I'll do it. Uh, preferably, I'd like to do it with all second-round picks, of course. Just look how many first-round picks there are right here. It's just it's ridiculous. Uh, if I can give you one more second. Okay, so it's probably not going to work with seconds. Uh, but how about if I give you, I'm not giving you the Brooklyn pick this year. How about if I give you the 76ers pick? It probably should go through. Welcome to the team, Nicole Jokic. Obviously, they don't update overalls, so it's not going to be great overalls. But our bench is probably the best in the NBA. But the starting five is going to be Isaiah DeRozan. I'm going to start Ingram over Crowder just because I'd rather get the young guys some minutes. Uh, then LeBron at power forward. And then Jokic off the bench is going to be Avery Bradley, Jay Crowder, Marcus Smart, Kelly Olenek, and Tyler Zeller. So I'm actually, no, I'm, I'm fine with this rotation. So I'll see you guys at the end of season number two, where hopefully we can win a championship. And at the end of season number one, James Harden wins the MVP award. 35 points per game, seven rebounds, eight assists, two steals, one block. 
Absolutely unreal stats for him. Chris Dunn wins Rookie of the Year for the 76ers. Giannis Antetokounmpo wins Sixth Man of the Year. Not really sure who he's backing up. John Wall wins Defensive Player of the Year. D'Angelo Russell wins Most Improved. And Kevin McHale of the 65-17 and 17 Rockets wins Coach of the Year. Okay, I thought it would be Brad Stevens, but they were one game better than us, so we went 64-18. and 18. If you couldn't tell that already, who do the Rockets have that made them very, very good? Rockets. Okay, it's Harden, Connelly, and Howard. I don't think. Okay, whatever. It really doesn't matter. Uh, standings, we were 13 games up in the Orlando Magic for first in the East. I'm, I mean, I guess they signed Whiteside, but I don't really know how that makes them second in the East. Player stats, Neil LeBron led us in scoring, then Isaiah, then DeRozan, then Ingram, Bradley, Jokic. Uh, rebounds per game went to Jokic, and then LeBron, then Ingram, and assists went to James, and then Thomas, then DeRozan. So... Let's get into these playoffs, simulate this current round. If we do one, somehow win a championship this year, I will be going on to another season. Of course, because you do want to get back-to-back, -back, make it a little bit more challenging. We were taking on the 60 to 76ers. That literally isn't even hard. Oh, boy. They didn't sign Kevin Durant. I know that it didn't happen. So we should be able to beat them in theory. Don't blow a 3-1 lead. There we go. We win a championship in year number one. LeBron James is your final MVP. We are going to be going on to a, one more season to try to win back-to-back -back finals. So... Let's get this one done. Uh, not Jerry's retirement. Let's go to league meetings because I don't know if you know this. I don't really like league meetings too much. Uh, I think they're very, very stupid. Some people disagree with me. Feel free to disagree. Oh, I hope that Nets pick got us a good pick. Oh, my God. That's going to be so nice. Please tell me it got me a good pick. Come on. Uh, th let's go. And Oh, actually, it was the Timberwolves pick that got us three, and it was the Nets that got us 12. So I'm going to try to propose a trade because... Uh, let's go 3 and let's go 12 for number 1 overall. Um, number 1 overall. Who has the first overall pick? The Wizards. Um, and I will give you... I'll give you a little... Oh, damn it. I didn't mean to do that. Okay. 3, 12, and all these seconds because I don't want second round picks because the players just take up roster spots for the Wizards' first overall pick. And I will give you one more second too. Welcome to the team, Lonzo Ball, I'm pretty sure, because he's overpowered in this draft class. He's an 84 overall, and I'll see you guys at rookie signings with who I took number one overall, but it's probably going to be Lonzo Ball. So here rookie signings with the first overall pick. I did choose Lonzo Ball out of UCLA. Um, obviously, his overall is too high. I'll, I, I'm not going to fix it this video. Eventually, I'll fix it. I'm just way too lazy to do it right now. Uh, team player options, smart. You're coming back. Mickey, you can come back. Rozier can come back. AJ Hammonds, no thank you. So... Uh, I don't think we're going to have a lot of money in free agency, if any at all, actually. So my free agents, uh, yeah, no, we have no money at all. So welcome back, uh, Zeller, hopefully Hammonds. I'm um, pretty sure we have enough roster spots already without you, so I don't really care. Ah, one of these would just be so... Do I've never seen this before, but this is awesome. I love it. Mid-level exceptions is the greatest thing ever invented. I swear to God, I love it. Um... I really love it. It's just so nice. Oh, my God. That's so awesome. Come back to the Major Rebco. That was awesome. I can't believe that just happened. Like, I've never seen it done with Chris Paul before. I'm pretty sure our mid-level exception has gone, so we can't use it on anybody else. So, uh, how many roster spots do we have? Yeah, no, we're full. Wow, this team is very, very good. You know what? I'll see you guys at the start of season number two. We're probably going to look to trade Isaiah Thomas, and I'll see you guys there. So we're going to see if the New York Knicks will accept this deal, sending them Isaiah Thomas along with three first-round picks for Kristaps Porzingis. And boom, welcome to the team, Kristaps. Dude, This look at this team. Like, it's – I'm not going to say it's the best team I've ever built, but it's – I'm not going to lie to you. It's it's definitely <laughs> – it's up there. Uh, I think I'm going to try to improve Jokic or the center position right now, but if I can get anything better from Nicole Jokic and two first-round picks, I will. But I don't know if I can get anything because I don't really have any money. But if Nicole Jokic wants to get me some better center, even though it probably won't because I'm pretty sure he's like probably the best, yeah, I don't think I'm going to be trading him. Uh, I'm just going to go to free agents make sure there's no one here. There's not. So look at this team. Like, oh, my God. <laughs> look at this bench. Like, they don't even have Smart getting any minutes here. So I'm going to try to actually trade Smart for a backup big. So let's go Smart and two firsts. What can I get? Look at this team. Oh, my God. Give me something good. I mean, can I get, like, Miles Turner? That'd be nice. Um, 
not popping up, but I'm going to go ahead and propose that. So let's go smart uh, over to the... Actually, can I do it for Okafor? Because his overall is not updated yet. Cool. Welcome to the team, Julia. I probably just overpaid, but it's... Look at this team. Uh, Lonzo Ball is not starting over Chris Paul. That's just not happening. Because, I, I mean, I know Lonzo's potential is probably very, very high, but... Uh, I'm going to give these to DeRozan. So this is going to be the rotation for the final season. Chris Paul, DeMar DeRozan, LeBron James, Chris Dallas, Porzingis, Nicole Jokic, and off the bench. Lonzo Ball, Brandon Ingram, Julio Okafor, Avery Bradley. Uh, Crowder is definitely getting some minutes. That, that's just ridiculous. So, God, now I have to do this all over again. So I will see you guys at the end of season number two, where hopefully we can repeat as back-to-back -back NBA champions. And at the end of season number two for back-to-back -back years, James Harden once again wins the MVP award. 36 points per game, 6 rebounds, 7 assists, 2 steals, and 1 block. But before we get into any more offseason awards, look at the bottom right corner. 77-5. and five. I kind of wanted to try to go for 82-0, but we lost the game like four games into the year just because our chemistry wasn't that high. <sighs> I was going to like just cut out the video and say like before, just before the season started that we were going to try to go 82-0, but we lost the game, so it really didn't matter. Uh, you're looking at the awards right now. Raul Neno... Most improved. He's, okay, whatever. Uh, Adrian Griffin. I'm sorry. You're just going to sit here and tell me that the coach of the Magic, who went 69-13, and 13, is the coach of the year versus M Brad Stevens, who went 77-5. and 5. Okay, 2K. Okay. Uh, who did the Magic? They had to have added somebody else, else at this point because Magic. Oh, they signed Steph. Okay. Hmm. Suddenly, this Magic's GM's not looking so bad, but our team's even better. Uh, standings, we were eight games up on the Magic, surprisingly, not even, I thought it would be a little bit more, but uh, player stats in the air, LeBron led us in scoring, then DeRozan, then Paul, then Lonzo Ball, Porzingis, Okafor, Jokic, Ingram, Bradley, Crowder, wow, this team, oh my god, rebounds went to Jokic, then Porzingis, and assists went to Chris Paul, Ball, and then LeBron James, so uh, taking on the Cavs in the first round, this literally shouldn't be a match, or hard at all, we lose one game, I'm not going to really complain about it, 76 is the next round, we Okay, we could take them to six games, but this this very well could be a problem here. Okay, 2-1, two, 2-2. Two, two. No, 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 Don't please don't go down 3-2. Please, please, please win. I will hop in if I have to, even though I'm very, very bad at 2K. Uh, okay, we won that one. Going to a game seven. No, 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 please don't get blown out. We're coming back. We're coming back. We're winning. Okay. Slowest. 123. We're up. No. No, you've got to be kidding me with that. Oh. <sighs> this game sometimes. <laughs> this game sometimes. Well, I know Magic won the championship. Steph Curry is your final MVP. I mean, I can't. I guess I can't say it's my best team all time when they can't even win back-to-back -back championships, but... Going over this team, LeBron James, Chris Paul, DeMar DeRozan, Chris Dallas, Porzingis, Lonzo Ball, Nicole Jokic, Brandon Ingram, Julio for Avery Bradley, Jay Crowder, Kelly Olenek, Jordan Mickey, Terry Rozier, Teller Zeller, and Jonas Jerebko. Personally, I thought it was my best team. Maybe ever, maybe not. It's definitely my best offseason rebuilds. But hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you guys did, make sure to like down below. If you guys are new, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Let me know what team you want me to do next in the offseason rebuild. I think it might be the Miami Heat. But uh, if you want me to do another team, let me know that in the comment section. Any other video ideas, let them down there uh, below as well. And I will catch you guys all in the next video.